In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, um, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Good morning, everyone. How are everyone doing today? So we take this moment and greet each other and welcome our brothers in our community. Dear brothers and sisters, as we enter the second Sunday of Advent, Advent is a time of anticipation. We look forward to the return of Christ in glory. So as we reflect on our lives, our spirituality, and even our own feelings. Lord our Jesus, help us to lead good and holy lives. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, help us to prepare your way. Christ, have mercy. Lord our Jesus, help us to anticipate the day you are coming. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, um, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning and heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children, 
gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, borne aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age-old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Be 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the 15 years of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontiac Pilate was govern, governor of Judea, and Herod was treasurer of Galilee, and his brother Philip, the treasurer of the region of Eturia and Tetronitis, and Lysanias and the treasurer of Abilene. During, during the high priesthood of Anna and Ca Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Jacob, Zacharias, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism and repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, and may straight his path. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding road shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. As we enter the second week of Advent season, I have never been sharing with you a funny story, but today I'm going to give you one. The story goes like this. 
a mother called her son on Sunday morning to make sure that he got out of bed and was ready for church. I'm not going, mommy, he replied. Yes, you are going, so get out of that bed, his mother demanded. Give me one reason why I should go, said her son. And I will give you three reasons. One, I am your mother, and I say <coughs> you are going. And two, you are 40 years old, and you are old enough to know better. And three, you are a pastor, <laughs> so you need to be there. Well, lucky that my mom haven't called me in the Sunday morning yet, but I'm here today. <laughs> so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we enter the second week of Advent season, many people by now have begun to make lists of Christmas gifts. <laughs> they will buy it this year. And when they see the list, the bottom line of these gifts will cost, they may start check, <laughs> checking the list twice and record who was naughty and who was nice. You know that I'm nice, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. By today, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today reading speak to us of the gifts of Advent. These are the gifts of the chance to return, the honesty of the place apart, the clarity of God's gospel light. The gospel reading describes the second features <coughs> of Advent, the, des the desert that plays apart from the politics, <laughs> the intrigue and dispute that surrounds us all year long. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, is a time to carve out a space in each day to be with the Lord, to regain vision, and keep perspective. That time is the time where we make ready the way of the Lord through prayer, through the reading of God's word and spiritual reading of all the source in order to develop the space within where, where God can speak to us. <coughs> We prepare the offices <coughs> where we will do business, right? We prepare the home where we live, don't we? So often it's the time to prepare the, <coughs> the prayer life where we will meet God. It is certainly true that God can speak through the events in our life, but it is only in the quiet times of prayer that we first learn to recognize His voice in the mirror of all the others. I know that this time of the year, <clears throat> we seem to be busy so much, we're running around, and we are business with all the business, but we, we forget about prayer. <clears throat> St. Francis de Sales called uh, prayers the water that irrigates everything we do. <clears throat> so my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Alvin can help us create that space within the zone of honesty 
about ourselves, which will open up a way for the Lord um, to come to us. A personal relationship with Christ is not for a select few. Our relationship with Christ was given to us in baptism. We may have neglected it, but it is available for all the baptized if we take the time to strengthen it. Events call us to be the quiet space within where we can start to hear the sound of God in our life. Advent reminds us too of the importance of space apart in our life. <laughs> Finally, Advent is the time of gospel light. St. Paul writes to the Philippians that his prayers is that they may learn to value the things that really matter. Advent is about a new wake-up call to look benefit, to look beneath the glitter of the season to deeper realities. If we if can remind us to look to the deeper spiritual needs we, we all have. The light and colors of the season can remind us to look after the beauty and light of our soul and the quality of our spiritual life. The emphasis on giving gifts can remind us that the power of a gift is not its cost, but the spirit, the care, and the friendship it represents. Even the loneliness of Advent for some remind us that the thing that really matter and how we can make change in our life that will center our lives on love of God and our neighbor. In every age, people fall prey to the temptation to scramble and proper order of values. What is important gets stunted to the side. What is minor becomes <clears throat> the center of a personal life. We can be overtaken by ambitions with a ruthless carrealism. We can be domi dominated by lust and reduces a person to only one feature of their life. Advent calls us to re recapul recalibrate our compass, cleanse our moral glasses, and reboot our spiritual life by following gospel light. <coughs> So my dear brother and sister in Christ, the three gifts of, to us of Advent are a return to the Lord, a place apart in our life where we are with Christ and the light that put our value in order. So the color of Advent can seem like St. John the Baptist voice in the wilderness, but it is a call of real life and real truth. So as we think ahead to the gifts of Christmas, so my dear brother and sister in Christ, let's not forget the gift of Advent. 
the chance to return, the honesty of silent time, and the guidance of God, of the, of God light. They are gifts that keep on giving. So my dear brothers, as we enter again in second week of Advent, let us prepare ourselves. Focusing on one thing, let God enter in our family and our loved ones, and then from there you can do anything that you like. Put God first during this Advent season. Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, So give up life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, where the Father and the Son and don't go to fight, who has found the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Father Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the word of resurrection of the dead and light the world to come. Amen. So as we seek to follow the path of lead to God, let us ask for the grace and strength to help us in our daily struggles. <laughs> Let the church stand like Jerusalem upon the heights, proclaiming with a pure heart the word of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. <clears throat> that every nation prepare now for the day of Christ by working for peace and the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer that the prophets and witness to Christ in our time proclaim him without fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. That those who are estranged from families forgive one another and be reconciled. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. That this community go forth and hasten the coming of the Lord through love and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. For our military service, men and women, and their families, that the Holy Spirit console, guide, and protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, I hear our prayer. God of our salvation, let us never separate ourselves from you. Hear our prayers and grant whatever is best for us. We are this through Christ our Lord. As we make our offerings, uh, any small children who'd like to bring theirs forward to the basket may do that now. And we have a, a new Advent hymn. As we are starting our new church year, we have uh, new missalettes, and the offerings in these missalettes are are different than what we've had other years for music. And some of the things that we've used for a lot of years may not be in them, but many of them are. And then the gift is there are some really beautiful pieces in it. So as the year progresses, you may be asked to sing some songs that you haven't heard before, but they've been a wonderful gift to us. They're, they're lovely things. Uh, our, Offering song is number 63, Ready the Way. Number 63. 
and we'll sing verse one and then we'll go right back to verse two then we'll do the refrain then we'll ver we'll sing verse three go right back to verse four and then we'll do the refrain again so brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father.
Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. <coughs> and since we have no merit to please our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue. With the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels and with throne and dominion and with all the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and without end we proclaim. Oh, holy, oh, holy, holy, holy Lord of oh God of hosts, heaven and earth. Indeed, uh, holy, O Lord, um, the fawn of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord um, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, and he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. And both at your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate um, the memory of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, um, the bread of life and the challenge of salvation, giving thanks that you help have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, of your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all the people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them, O Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, um, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and form by divine teaching, so now we have courage to say together, Our Father, <coughs> hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on us as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in according with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So now let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my room, but when I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To a world awaiting the break of day, come Emmanuel, to a wandering people who've lost their way, come Emmanuel, Lord of heaven, you've birthed King of prophets foretold To shepherds and wise men To a manger of hay Come, Emmanuel Come, Shake us. 
Oh, there will be a second collection, sorry. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of the earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for coming this morning. May God bless you during, uh, uh, during this Advent season. So let's prepare our, ourselves and welcome our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So thank you again, and have a wonderful weekend. And stay warm. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, um, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass and Andy go in peace and serve the Lord. And our closing hymn is number 385, City of God, number 385. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep, a new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people of darkness have seen a great light. to be